Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Okay, my video today is all about lips and specifically lips, lip glosses, lipsticks, lip creams, all this lip stuff for fall and winter. I've had a few people request this, so I wanted to address this before it got too late into the fall and actually into the winter. I wanna, you know, give you guys some ideas for appropriate lip colors before it's too late. Anyway, so before I start, I just wanna say, you know what, if you have a favorite lip color that is not in my little suggestions, wear it, who cares? Makeup is all about creativity and expressing yourself. So for me, there are no rules with makeup. You can use, you know, you could use lipstick as blush, you can use like, you know, various cream blushes and, you know, powder blushes as eyeshadow. You know, makeup is meant to be played with. It's meant to be creative. So have fun, there are no rules with makeup. So these are just my suggestions. Anyway, when I think fall, winter lipsticks, I immediately think of like three different color schemes. So first, reds. I think a red lip is so classic, so beautiful, all around the year, but I really like it for fall and winter. I also really like a deep lip. So maybe like a deep purple or like, you know, kind of between like a deep red, purple, like burgundy, that sort of thing. And then also something that's super wearable is just kind of like a nudie, pinky, neutral color. So not, you know, not like a light, light nude, not like the concealer lip. I think that's kind of better for like spring, summer, but more something it just kind of looks like your lips, but a little bit more put together. So more like a pinky, brownie nude. Anyway, so let's start with red. I've got the red lips on, so I'm gonna go through the reds first. I think this, this is kind of my like classic fall winter lip. So let me go through some options for you guys. So what I have on my lips today, this is the NYX Butter Lipstick, and this is in the shade Mary Jane's. Okay, so this is not matte, this is, kind of a satin, it's not super glossy. Very, very pretty, and this stuff feels so good when you put it on. It goes on so smoothly, it's just, it's a dream, it's amazing. Um, another, you know, another option, this is glossy, this is another NYX. This is the NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the color Red Velvet. Okay, this is a gloss, smells wonderful, as all the butter glosses do. So this is, a gloss, it is, you know, a bit sheer, like you could definitely sheer this out. So if you don't want something super, super, super red, that could totally work. Um, next, I have the OCC Lip Tar, and this is in the color Stalker, such a nice name. Um, this, you know, put it on with a brush. I don't have a brush here, so we'll put it on with my finger, which will be a huge mess. This stuff is, you know, it's, shiny and it is gorgeous. This stuff covers so well. It is super opaque. If you want like a really beautiful red pout, like it, to me, this is like the Gwen Stefani, like red pout. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Maybe you want something matte. You know, I really, I do like a lot of mattes for the winter. I think it's really pretty. So another idea, this is by Bourgeois. This is their Rouge Edition Velvet Lip Cream. And this is in the color Grand Cru. Okay, this one is matte. I've noticed with this specific color in the, the Rouge Edition Velvet, it's a little bit grainy. It's kind of weird. You can see there are like these weird little grains. If you, and it takes a while to actually build this up to be like a very deep red. Um, it works perfectly once you get it on, but you do need to work with this one a little bit. The other, the other Rouge Edition Velvets, I have not noticed this with, um, but this one just seems like a little bit grainy. But the color's really beautiful, and if you don't wanna do like a full on, opaque, deep red lip, this gives you options because you can layer it and layer it and make it as deep as you like. Okay, another option. This is by Makeup Forever. This is their Rouge Artist Intense and it's matte number seven. So this I actually have decanted into a, or depotted, I guess you'd say depotted, um, into a palette, but I'll get out a teeny, teeny bit. So this stuff is like a really, really pretty red for fall. Very matte, 
kind of a deeper red. Really, really pretty stuff. This looks so nice on. Okay, and my last red is by NARS. So this is their Jungle Red. And this one is matte as well. And this just, doesn't that just look beautiful? It just looks so classic. Yeah, this is like a beautiful, beautiful red. Yeah, you know, I think a matte red lip looks nice. I often don't do a super, super shiny red lip. I do like, you know, a satin finish red lip, matte. But you know what? Rules are meant to be broken, as I said. So if you want to do a shiny, shiny red lip, who cares? So yeah, there we have the reds. Okay, let's take this red off and get into a whole different fall trend, whatever. Okay, so off with the red and on with like the nudie pinky brown color. So this, you can see, this is like super, super wearable. So you know what? If you don't want anything really loud, you don't want anything bold, you know, this is perfect. I think a color like this, a pinky brown, is really appropriate, you know, all the time. Um, maybe save the red or like the deep purple that I'm gonna discuss in a second. You know, keep that for a special night. And then, you know, for a day look, something like this. Okay, so let's go through a few nudie pinky brown options. So first, what I am wearing, this is actually like a two-sided lipstick from Bite. So the color I'm wearing is called Musk. So it's a really pretty like satiny finish, kind of nudie pink. I really love this one. Um, on the other side, we have their color called Lychee. And this one is just a bit lighter. Like I think this color, this lychee color is a really beautiful kind of for like the warmer months. And then this deeper one, the musk is perfect for fall and winter. Okay. Other options in this category. So this is the matte lipstick by NYX and this is in the color Euro trash. Whew. So this is a matte. And it's actually a really similar color to the, um, the Bite, but the Bite is just a little bit shinier. Oh, I can hear my kitty meowing. I wonder if they're fighting. My babies. Um, okay, next we have another Rouge Edition Velvet, and this is, this is by Bourgeois again, and this is in their color Nudist. This one is not grainy like that red one. This one's quite... Oh yeah, this is really creamy. I wonder if it was just a weird one I got in that Grand Cru. This is so pretty. Like, and this dries very matte. The only thing about these, they have a weird smell. They do have a weird smell, but the colors are really, really nice. So this is again, matte. Um, another matte one, and this one stays put like mad. So this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge, and this is in the color number two. So this guy, it has color on one side and then sort of this like sealant on one side. So basically you put the color, you put the color on your lips and then you paint over it with, um, with the sealant to make it stay put. So this is much more like beigey brownie. This doesn't have as much pink in it, but this will dry matte. Um, yeah, so I would say let this dry and then you go over it with this clear stuff and that really locks it in. This stuff is crazy. Like this is meant to be underwater. So if you need something to go, if you need a fall lip to go underwater, there you have it. Okay, now we're getting more into the glossy side of things. Um, a nude gloss is just the easiest thing ever to, to apply, I love it. So my first gloss is by Maquillage and this is in their color Nude Plum. So this is actually quite opaque. It's not glittery or anything. It's, you know, pretty, it's just one solid color, no sparkles or anything in it. Very, very pretty. Nice applicator. Cute packaging. And then another you could do, this is by Buxom. This is our gloss in Sophia. This is much more pinky. This is not as, as like brownie, but it goes on like super, super clear. I really love the Buxom glosses. I love how my lips tingle. If you hate that, then don't try this, but if you like it, you'll love it. And then finally, this is just super, super simple. This is the sugar, Honey by Fresh. What are you supposed to be called? This is the Fresh Sugar and it's in the shade Honey. Sugar Honey. This is just kind of a lip tint. So you can see it is, you know, quite brown, quite pinky brown. When you put it on, it's very, very, very sheer. 
I mean, that is me doing a whole bunch of layers. Super easy to apply. The thing that's so nice about like the nudie pink neutral side of things, it's so simple to apply. You don't need to fuss. You don't need to worry about like, oh, is it perfect? I mean, my red lip this morning took, took a while. I was like playing with it and fixing it because a red lip, it's really bold. If it doesn't look perfect, it looks terrible. So, you know, if you're gonna do a bolder color, spend some time on it. Nudes are much more giving. Okay, so there you can see our pinky nude neutral colors for fall. That Bite Beauty lipstick feels so good on my lips. It just, it's smooth, it's amazing. Okay, last look. We are going for like the deep aubergine scheme of things. Like not flat out purple. Like I'm still keeping this more like in the reds, red kind of tones, um, but deep, like really, really deep. So yeah, aubergine is like the best color I can use to describe this. The color I'm wearing today, this is by NYX. This is their Soft Matte Lip Cream and the color is in Copenhagen. And this stuff is dark, okay? This stuff is very pretty. This, this is one layer. I mean, I probably did like two coats on my lips. So you can definitely build this. So it's nice, you have options if you don't wanna do a full on, like very, very deep lip. You can definitely sort of sheer it out, that's nice. Um, another product you can use, this one is also quite dark. This is the OCC Lip Tar, and this is in the color Vintage. This stuff is very shiny, very pretty. I love the formulation of this stuff, it's so neat. It just looks like really liquidy. Oh, it is so pretty. So this is like really deep red. Very pretty stuff, very shiny and so opaque. It's impressive how opaque these lip tars are. It's crazy. Another really deep one, this is by NARS. And this is their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Ten Bleu. Now this stuff is very dark too. This is matte, it's creamy. Um, goes on very, very smoothly. Really, really nice stuff. Very pretty, deep aubergine color. Okay, if you don't wanna go as dark, you could go with the Maquillage. This is their lip color pen, and the color is in Cold Plum. I really like this formulation. Like, I really like these, these like lipstick, but in pens, because um, they're so easy to apply. So this one is quite glossy. This is lighter. It's still on the purple burgundy side, but it's not so, so intense. It's not so deep, much more wearable. And then finally, if you just want a teeny bit of color, why not a gloss? So this is by Bite, and this is in the color 12. So this was part of their deconstructed rose palette, but I would assume that Bite has something similar to this in their permanent collection. So this is a gloss, and this is still sort of in like the the purpley scheme of things, scheme of things, but it's not so intense. And because it's a gloss, you can also really sheer it out. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my picks for lip products, lip creams, lipsticks, lip shades, la la la, um, for fall and winter. I hope you guys found this helpful. I really wanted to give you a good variety of products, you know, a variety of colors, and then also a variety of like formulation. So lipsticks, lips cre lip creams, lip glosses, etc. And then also a variety of finishes. So some matte, some glossy, some dewy, and all that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys found this helpful. I would love to hear what your picks are for your fall winter lip products. What shades are you rocking? What finishes? What formulations are you loving? La la la. Also, I just want to take this moment to say thank you. Like, just a big, big heartfelt thank you for watching my videos, for subscribing, for commenting, all that. I'm almost at 900 subscribers, which just blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate your continued support. I really have loved just chatting with you. Like I have, you know, this person in this country who likes this product and this person. So I just, I, it's really special to me. So like I, I read all your comments. Um, I comment back pretty much on all of them. Sometimes if I don't comment back, it's because I can't. Like you have it set so it's I can't actually reply, but the ones I can reply to, I always do. So thank you so much for all of your support. It's just, it's so sweet. Like I don't know how you find me, but I appreciate that you have found me and that you watch my videos. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.